The SWAC tournament, it did not treat us well. Uh, Got T, you were there in person. Dr. Cavill was there also. What you got? Well, Panther fans, this is such a sad time for me because basketball season is coming to a close. It's okay, though, only about 235 days until the next season drops off. So I'm not going to try to lament too much. We're just going to look forward to the future. But just to recap, um, women's basketball finished in sixth place in the conference. Um, going into the SWAC tournament, they played number three seed Alabama State in the first round. They lost by two points, 58 to 60 and this battle against the Hornets to bring the season to a conclusion. The Lady Hornets held PV to six points the whole second quarter. Um, Alabama State, who was 50-50 in their season 14-14, fell behind six points early. We came out starting so hot and on fire, 23-4. Um, to four. There was a 23-4 to four run, though, that the Lady Hornets came back uh, um, over a 12 minute span to take the lead and held that to halftime. They continued to keep the lead at double digits before the Panthers rally back in the la in the second half in the last few minutes. And it got as close to three points with a few seconds remaining, but we just couldn't, um, couldn't close it out. A few stats to explain what happened. The game was won in the paint. The Lady Hornets scored 36 points and the Panthers only had 18 points in the paint with the bench only contributing 15 points in the game. The Lady Panthers only shot 26% from the field, which is tough to win uh, with that kind of shooting percentage. Unfortunately, we ran out of gas, ran out of time, and could not seal the deal. Um, Diana Rosenthal had a game high of 29 points and four rebounds. Kennedy Paul came through with double digits with 12 and eight rebounds. Uh, Curtis Clark gave us 13 points too. So that's what happened with the women. Um, fought hard, but just couldn't, couldn't close it. On the men's side, uh, as we know, the men finished in ninth place in the SWAC this year, and they went up against number one, um, Alcorn State. Really close game. The game was lost by one point in overtime. You guys should have been there, but here's kind of what happened. The Panthers in the first ugly. half. Man, it was it was it was not it was cute. tough. Yeah, she said not, not cute. <laughs> <laughs> they were in the first half with eight point lead, um, with thirteen minutes on the clock. The Braves chipped away at Prairie View's lead, scoring went back and forth for a little bit until PB took a seven point lead with nine seconds left to go in half. It was a dog fight to the end, but it was costly for the Panthers as they turned the ball over to allow the Braves to make a three point shot to tie the game at fifty four. And that's how the game went into overtime. Some of the last second free throws sealed the deal with the Braves, uh, giving them a one point win. Uh, Jeremiah Gambrell came through with the 20 point effort. Gambrell went six for 14 from the three point line and went six from 16 from the field. So he had three rebounds, one assist, two blocks. Uh, graduate, student, uh, graduate student Dwayne Cox had 16 points, Juwan Daniels had 12 points respectively. Daniels had a season high of 16 rebounds, giving him his fifth double-double of the season. But um, yeah, it was a really hard fought battle, but just at the end, we couldn't pull it through. A little up and down during the season, a lot of close games, a lot of one point games, um, but so much competition in the SWAC this season. So, yeah, this concluded the end of the 2021-2022 season, Prairie Basketball, uh, for both men and women. We have a lot to work, of work to do in rebuilding to prepare for next season and come out stronger, hopefully go for the gold. We also have a lot of faith in our coaches, Coach Sandy Pugh and Coach Byron Smith and their staff to bring in the players that we need to make the team stronger. So, Continue to stay tuned for more PV sports updates as we support our Panthers through the rest of the school year, school season. So what do you see as a need from the women's perspective? What do you, what do you think the weaknesses are that, that uh, Coach Pugh needs to identify over the off season? I think that um, if we get a little more height, that would help. Um, our, one of our 
biggest players was Kennedy Paul, and she really played a guard position. So when it came to the post, you know, a lot of people were able to um, outwork us in the post and out-rebound us. So that's one way we can improve. And then just getting some more consistent scores. Um, it's, it's great that we have Diana Rosenthal coming back. Um, but we need some more players with that, with that fight in them, that, uh, uh, that aggressiveness that when you have those 50, 50 balls, they just have in their mind that it's theirs, you know? So I think that we definitely could benefit from more height and, um, just more shooting ability. Um, and then on the men's side, as far as a, a true point guard, um, floor yes. general, we can use that because that will really open up the two and three guards that we have to go to work and and and, and show out a bit. We're losing Juwan Daniels, who is, who's a leader of the team. That's gonna um, be painful. We have to find a replacement. <clears throat> Somebody's gotta step up with points. Man, it hurts. I, I was over there watching uh, Linnell Henry balling out for Alcorn and I was giving him the eye but I was still happy for him. <laughs> so happy uh, <laughs> for them winning the SWAC. But um, just to get more size, leadership, you could tell we have a, uh, uh, we've been developing on the men's side in the right direction. So I think um, the experience is going to do these guys well. And um, yeah, just, just buying into what the coaches are teaching playing Panther basketball, because we have some really exceptional coaches and just being able to execute. I think we you need would. to put a Panther on the backboard so they can just do some Panther free throws. Cause I swear, <laughs> if you look at all <laughs> free throws were a problem. Man, this disco, we're going to go off holes off season, just shoot three free throws. All you're going to do is just free throws. And then, you know, COVID contributed to the, the whole not being able to get some of that extra work, you know, before. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, yeah before you could you could get into the gym, you could get your shots up, you can get your extra workouts. But with COVID, everything has been scheduled and timed um, just exactly to make sure that the safety protocols are taken into consideration so this is now a call on the athlete to do more on their own yeah. you know, whether it's going to the outside courts going to the veal phase one and two and trying to get your free throws in at night or whatever but definitely working on your individual game and making sure that you come better next year than you were this year yeah i think from a men's perspective point guard is huge we got to get a ball hand, a primary ball handler. You would think with the impact that Steph Curry's had on basketball culture that you could find a point guard on the street anywhere, but I guess it's just not that easy. Everyone who wants to be Steph Curry or just have a, a good handle, they just aren't that good at it. So apparently it's more difficult to find a true point guard than you would think. I think Steph Curry has encouraged people to try to shoot longer range shots. They're not getting the full aspect <laughs> of what his game is. Not only yeah. can he shoot from half court, but he can dribble around anybody and get his way yeah. to the basket at any time. And so it's the, um, a gift and the curse because now you have people trying to pull up from half, uh, half court for some reason. Um, but yeah, just going back to the fundamentals, the basics, working on those lateral drills and um, have, being a threat from the mid-range game, that's really the secret. That's you, dead. Yeah. No one shoots a mid-range shot anymore. Exactly. If you can perfect the mid-range game, you can be very successful. Yeah. Well, well, we congratulate the young men and the young women uh, Panthers basketball team uh, on the season. I know that they they wanted more, but hey, it is what it is. Keep working harder. But we have tennis. We've got bowling. We've got uh, track and field. Uh, we have plenty, baseball and softball. So we've got plenty of ways to support the Panther Athletics program across the board. So make that drive up the Panther land. Let's get it in and support our Panthers.